Hey guys, it's Penny Pinch and Granny. Welcome back to my channel. I'm running a little bit late this morning because I took Mom to the grocery store. She's at the age now where it makes her a little bit nervous to go in the store, so I go with her and I get to spend time with her and make sure she gets what she needs, so I enjoyed it. We're going to go over mail first. I have one, two, three, four, five, six letters from my friend in Ohio. Uh, thank you. I think she writes me about mm, maybe twice a week. I uh, thank you so much. And this is from a lady in Mississippi, no, Missouri, I think. Wait a minute. Let me make sure. Yes, Missouri. She's in a card. But she also makes these jar openers. Look at the craftsmanship. Beautiful. Thank you. I do have trouble opening jars, and these definitely will help. Thank you, thank you. And this is from Canada. This one is from Pennsylvania. And this one is from Michigan. And this is from North Dakota. And um, I'll tell you a story before I show you the next one. I went to the book lady with my daughter last Saturday and then mom and I went to thrift stores Thursday because I was looking for a keto book and depending on where you go shopping it's gonna cost me 10 cent to 50 cent or a dollar but anyway in other places had them I think because it's so popular now people are keeping the books now it's like the Atkins when it starts to die down you'll find books everywhere but lo and behold the Lord is good He's always good. When I got home Thursday, what did I find in my mail? Ketogenic cookbook. And this came from a lady in Virginia. Thank you. It's got a lot of good recipes in it. And it's also got, let me find it, some ideas for menus. It's got the menus listed. And, of course, the recipes in here. And then it's got the carbs listed. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now... I've been trying to eat close to it. Not right on exactly. I'm not going to lie about it, but I'm trying to use up some of what I got. But I tell you what I did. I did go through my cabinets and stuff I knew that I bought from Milo's or Food Lion. Some of it I still had a receipt. I took back the stuff that I couldn't eat and got stuff I could eat. So basically my food for the next week or two will be free because I'd already paid for it. All I did was exchange. So that's one thing you can do. If you've got something, and I've told you this before, if you've got something and you try it and you don't like it, or you find out it's spoiled or whatever, if you live close enough to that grocery store, you take it back. Um, if it's something you have to start a diet, the doctor starts doing a diet, it's something you can't eat, take it back. Even if you don't have the receipt, they'll give you a hard for the store so they're still getting their money back because you got to go shopping in that store but take it back don't be ashamed when you spend that hard-earned money and stuff is high take it back because i wasn't going to take mine back i was just going to try to muddle through and eat it and i thought you know what i go in there all the time shopping for different people they know i buy my food here i'm going to take it back like I said, I had the receipts for most of it, so I did take it back. But anyway, let's get off that subject because I'm staying on there too long. My food for the next week or two, as I said, will be free. So I won't break it down because it's already paid for back a month ago or whatever. So I'm not going to break it down. But I am trying to stick close to the keto diet. And I know I won't get everything just right, but I'm learning. So just stick with me. Now, over the past month, since I have been cutting back some, I have lost 13 pounds. I went from 184 to, I weighed, I think it was Thursday morning, I weighed, I weighed 171. But I'm going to tell you, if you are on a diet, I used to teach weight loss at the YMCA. Do not get addicted to weighing yourself on those scales. Go by your clothes, by the inches you lose, excuse me, inches you lose, because muscle weighs more. When I was a size 8, 
I still weighed 150 pounds, but I was solid because I was teaching exercise back then. So remember, do not go by the scales. If you want to weigh yourself, weigh yourself like every two weeks or once a month. I had one lady when I worked at the Y, and I mean she looked like she was a size two. She would come in every morning. She was a singer. Her and her husband sang. And she would come in every morning. She was so self-conscious and weigh herself. And if she had gained a half a pound, a couple of ounces, she wouldn't eat for the whole day. And that's dangerous. Do not do that. You eat. Don't get addicted to weighing yourself. Go buy your clothes. I can tell my clothes are getting a little bit looser, especially my pants. But I'm hoping by being on this keto diet, it's going to raise my iron too because I'll be eating more meat. And um, I'm hoping that's going to help since my iron is so low. But anyway, and another thing is, do not send me comments about you need to buy grass-fed, grass-finished, pasture-raised, organic, this, that, and the other meats. I know I do. I can't afford it, so I'm going to get what I can afford. Now, vegetables, the prices of organic vegetables and stuff are coming down, so I can afford to get them if my store carries them. But as far as the meat, I am not paying $15 for a couple of pieces of chicken or $15 for one steak or whatever. I'll get it if I can get it, but most of the time around here, you're not going to find it, and I can't afford to drive to different towns hunting sales on meat. Uh, another thing, let's see, what else was it? Oh, yeah. I notice a lot of people are ordering groceries online now, and my question to you guys is, that's a great thing, especially for elderly people. But the problem is, do they take EBT? And for you that don't know what EBT is the United States version of food stamps, food assistance. Now, if they don't take EBT, a lot of the elderly and others can't order through them. And that would be a great service for us to be able to order. So, do you know of any food companies that will allow you to order your groceries and have them delivered that take EBT. Because I tell you what, companies, if you're listening to this, you're missing on a missing out on a big market. Because just like taking my mom to the store, if she could have ordered her groceries and had them brought to her, it would have been good for her. I mean I did get to spend time with her and I don't mind. But if you know any food companies that deliver groceries that do take EBT, please share it so that I can share it. And uh, like I said, there's a big market out there for seniors and, and other people that are getting food assistance. They maybe are having to take a bus or having to go to the next town over to get their groceries and they're having to pay somebody to take them. So please let us know. All right, guys, that's it for now. This is Penny Pinch and Granny. Hope you give this a thumbs up, and thank you.